Baker, I, I thank y'all for saying that. Thank y'all for saying that. Great man of God. Spent a lot of time with him and uh, have high things. Y'all, y'all say a prayer for Reverend Baker tonight, all right? I don't know why the Lord said that, but he said that. Can anybody join me in that? Amen. Reverend Baker, pray for Reverend Baker and his wife, uh, uh, Sister Baker, Dr. Glass. Pray for them. Both of them about 90. Been in the gospel ministry probably, oh, 65 years or so. Keep praying with them. Yeah. I say this and I'm out of here. I know my time is up. To God's holy people in Ephesus, the faithful in Christ Jesus, he said, Reverend, you're holding fast. He used to tell me that years ago. He said, Reverend, you're holding fast? Uh, uh, young preacher, see? I said, well, Doc, I mean, what you mean? I think so. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I, I'm holding on to him, Reverend. No, you ain't holding fast. <laughs> I said, I ain't gonna let him go. Boy, you ain't holding fast. I said, well, Reverend, what you talking about? He said, well, Doc, when you're holding fast, that means you know he got you. It ain't that you got him. <laughs> see, see, the reason you got to hold fast, Reverend, because you might let go, but he ain't going to let go. I'm talking about something, somebody. That's why all things work together for the good because you're holding fast. God got his hands on you. He won't take his hands off you. He's walking with you. He's holding you. Man, you better hold. You better know you're holding fast. More folks in the church, you just say, Reverend, I'm yet holding on. Got the whole fat know that God has you. He does not do it. You have God. So the faithfulness, now I don't lie. Watch this now. I, uh, the faithful in Christ Jesus. <laughs> See, you faithful because he faithful. Yes, sir. Come on now, you got to catch that. Yes, sir. See, righteousness, I gave you some words. I gave you adoption, right? I gave you election. I gave you predestination. This is the last one. I ain't going to make no theology class. It's supposed to be a feel-good, real light, easy-going Bible study. Righteousness. Righteousness is something you put on. It is something from without that comes into your world. It is not something that in and of itself flows through your loins. It don't come from you. It comes on you. The righteousness of God. It is over you like a cloud. Righteousness, man. So when you keep your clothes on, man, if you just keep that jacket on, sometimes my kids have on a real nice outfit. I might have on a little tennis sweater and they want to take it off. My wife said, you better keep it on. <laughs> you better keep that sweater on. I know what I'm trying to accomplish. We're going to take pictures in a little while. <laughs> you better keep those shoes 